you. Some of the people who are taking part in this afternoon's rally are calling for a ban on assault style weapons. Earlier today, they held a news conference calling on lawmakers to take action. Harv Jacobs, also live in Marion Square. Harv, these folks had a warning for those lawmakers if they don't work to get rid of these kinds of weapons. Bill, they will work to get them voted out of office, and for many of them, last week's school shooting in Florida was the last straw. A school shooting in South Florida had far-reaching effects all the way to the low country. Today, groups calling for an end to gun violence gathered outside North Charleston City Hall. They came with a message. I'm here to say that I'm mad. Everybody here is mad, and y'all should be mad too. We are angry. Our community is angry. Our state is angry. And our nation is angry as our children go to school in fear that on any given day, going to school could be a death sentence. What angers these folks most is that the accused killer in Florida was able to legally buy an assault-style weapon despite warning signs about him to federal authorities before the shooting. Well, people, the time for prayers and vigils and holding hands alone has come to an end. It's time for action. That action, Dixon and the others say, is for lawmakers on both the state and federal levels to pass legislation to ban assault-style weapons. Our children are dying with military-style weaponry that does not need to be in the hands of civilians. Lily Smith has been personally affected by gun violence. Her father was an on-duty Charleston County police officer when he was shot to death in 1960. It destroyed me for 13 whole years. I was in agony and I never could get over the pain. Dixon noted there's a bill in our state legislature to put metal detectors in all schools. He says the bill must become law this year. If you close session this year and I see that that bill has not been put through, it's going to be hell to pay. It's time to stop the madness. And if not, we will have to stop those who have the ability to stop the madness at the polls. The groups of today's news conference targeted Senators Lindsey Graham and Tim Scott specifically on the assault rifle ban. Now, I reached out to both their offices, and a spokesman for Senator Graham did get back to me, said in the past, Graham has not supported banning assault-style weapons. He said, as far as he knows, he hasn't changed that position. We have not heard back yet from Senator Scott's office. Live at Marion Square in downtown Charleston, Harv Jacobs.